Canadian legend Patrick Chan entered the 2018 Games in Pyeongchang as a three-time world champion and 10-time Canadian national champion in figure skating. After representing our country in three games, Chan is bidding farewell to the Olympics and building a life off the ice. He joins me now with more. Patrick, good morning. Good to see you again. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Proudly displaying that gold. How are you <laughs> feeling right now? Uh, I feel great. I feel so relaxed and um, so happy with the results in Korea and uh, to come home to Canada and to feel the, the overwhelming support and, um, and just the constant support has been, I can, I've really felt it this time uh, more so than the last two Olympics. So you have taken that final bow. Uh, was this planned before you went to South Korea? Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't really have a plan after Sochi, and I, I didn't really have a thought about post games, um, and I didn't really want to make that same mistake um, because then I, I'm in a bit of a limbo. So I really wanted to have a clear idea of what I wanted to do. Um, you never know. Maybe I'll come back in another sport or something. You, I just I keep everything open, options open. You never know what can happen. And um, but I, I was just looking forward to coming back home to Canada after spending seven years in the U.S. training. Um, I just that's the first step I wanted to take was just to come home. Just to come home. And I understand that you have a lot of other passions, a lot of other goals, including getting your real estate license. Yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's that's one part of it. Um, that's amongst many, many things. And I have I just recently got my uh, coaching certification and um, just little things and just keeping myself busy. Um, none, none of it means anything or any sort of commitment to any, uh, any career, um, but it's way too soon to make that decision. So for now, I just want to broaden my mind and, and start becoming a sponge again and learning. Yeah, and just taking in life and enjoying it. <laughs> Have you been on the ice since the Olympics? Uh, a little bit. I've actually been, uh, I'm here in Toronto working with David Wilson, my choreographer, on uh, a show program for Stars on Ice uh, that'll be going across Canada in May. And uh, it's been nice to be back on the ice with a different type of mentality and uh, a little more uh, focus on just having fun and um, going back to the roots of why I started skating. Yeah, less pressure. How many years have you been skating now, Patrick? Uh, it'll be uh, around 21 years of skating uh, since the day I started. <laughs> since the day you started and you're 27 years old, yeah. my goodness. So can you picture your life uh, without thinking of the next Olympics? Is that something that's difficult to do? Luckily, it's in four years, so it'll be, uh, I'll hopefully be in a, a whole different mode and a whole different career at that point. And uh, I, it'll always be tough, though. It'll always be tough for me to um, to be on the other side of it and watching the Olympics. Uh, uh, we're all so competitive as Olympic athletes, and uh, you want to be in that competitive environment. But I know I'll be competitive in, in another world or another career, and I'm I'm looking forward to it. As we mentioned in the introduction, you've been to three games. Did you like one more than the other? Is there a favorite moment of the, all the Olympics that you've been to that stands out in your mind? Um, they each have their own. They each, mm. each have their moment. Um, Sochi, I remember um, the experience of um, spending it with, with my teammates and, and having the inaugural team event. Um, but I have to say, after coming back from Sochi and then all of us making that collective agreement that we would come back in Korea and win the team event and beat the Russians and beat the Americans. Uh, that was uh, that was an amazing feeling to come out on top and uh, to have done it with such a beautiful group of people um, who are also just not only teammates but friends. Um, it's, it's a, a special, special moment uh, and a first for Canada. Well, Patrick Chan, we wish you all the best in whatever you do. And as you say, you're super competitive. So whatever it is, you're going to do well. Thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> okay, we'll talk again. Patrick talk Chan, soon. appreciate your time.